welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. I wanted to start off this video by packing an order for Nikki in Wisconsin. Nikki, if you're watching this, thank you so much for your order. It's been a little while since I posted a video and I'm super sorry about that, but we've had a round of sickness in our house and then we actually had a mini vacation planned, but I should be posting more regularly after this. In this video, I'm gonna be starting to embroider a shirt that I'm planning on having in my next apparel launch and you're also gonna get some behind the scenes footage of a bag shoot with my friend and photographer, Gabriella. She's always linked below if you wanna check her out. Nikki ordered one of our Grade B breakfast diaper bags. Grade B just means that it isn't exactly perfect and there may be a few cosmetic imperfections, but this doesn't really change the ability to use the bag or anything like that. all ready to go. For this next round of shirts, I decided to go ahead and order the smallest Mighty hoop set, which is the 4.25 inch square hoop set. Most of the shirts I'm planning on making are gonna have a left chest design, and I wanted to be able to save some stabilizer, and I'm also planning on using it to embroider the diaper bags as well. So here is my big box of Bella canvas shirts that I ordered to embroider on and as you can see I have a lot of fun different colors and this is what I'm going to be working with. I'm going to be starting with a test shirt just to make sure that the design placement and my design size is going to work with my hoop. Now 
Okay, so here is the test shirt finish and there are a few spots that may make this look like the test was bad, but it actually went really well because I decided to resize it during the stitch out and it showed me that the design will still look good even when made smaller. So if I had kept it the original size and didn't shrink it, the needle would have hit the hoop and that's like really, really bad. So yeah, it turned out really good. So the actual shirts I'm going to put this design on are these mauve pink ones. Once I get them all stitched out, I'm going to steam them to make them not as wrinkly and ready to go. The stabilizers that I chose to use for this project are a no-show mesh cutaway because these shirts are pretty lightweight and I don't want the stabilizer to show through. And I'm also going to be using a water-soluble topper on top of the shirt for extra stability so that the threads don't sink down into the shirt since they are a pretty thin material.
When I steam these shirts, it should also get rid of the excess water soluble chopper, but here it is. If you liked this video and want to see more small business videos, please subscribe so I know to keep making them. Thanks for watching and I'll leave you with my favorite clip Ethan took at the whole photo shoot. Or go ahead. I'm just filming something completely ridiculous. Okay.